gay people can be trash too. I've got everything set up just right. That pussy won't have scared me. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. All of the thousands of people in the audience, welcome in. <gasps> me? I'm pretty? Oh, you're too kind. Thank you so much. turn down the music just a bit. Also, I need to set up my iPad so it doesn't have a... Uh... I'm not diminishing my audience. What if there are thousands of people? Are you are you diminishing um, our uh, our ability to draw in thousands of people? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're saying? like it is I love you I only say it because it's literally like five minutes in there is not a lot of people in obviously just you know it's so early I'm sure tons of people will just come washing in also Wapa thank you for the love and thank you for the lurk I am just gonna start drawing something and we'll see what happens. Um, I don't exactly know where I'm gonna go, but I feel like I want to draw a human. A filthy, filthy human. And we'll see what happens. Also, let me see if there's somebody I need to lurk in the background. Because I actually do not know if anybody's streaming tonight. I feel like usually Zach's stream. Yeah, Zach's just went on. I'm gonna have that on in the background. Ooh, that'd be fun. I'm gonna have one of my um, I'm gonna have one of my AirPods or one of your uh, little monster beat things, which I found in on the desk. I found it on the desk. I was looking for it so hard, and it was literally just on the desk. I was like, "Are you serious?" It was right here the whole time. I was looking for that bitch for a while too. How embarrassing. All right. I have one headphone in on Wather and Zax's stream and one headphone on the lo-fi. So I want to draw like a real fit human, uh, like really buff. I haven't drawn a, a really muscular man in a while. And I feel like it's about time. Piano. Oh, yeah. Um, also, I owe Wasabi, uh, a Wasabi P to uh, Wather as well. Also, Bogo. I'm almost done with yours, by the way. And I thought we were going to give any spoilers. Let me do a second P for BOGO. But yeah, um, now that I got the approval for all the sketch and background, I'll probably finish it soon.
but hi monkey bay i hope you're doing all right okay so i want to do a human maybe we'll see i'll draw something and we'll see what happens but it's gonna be another png tuber of course oh hi <gasps> poofs not having shots on in this home but i mean I only turned them off because I have already been drinking tonight and I am actually a little buzzed. And I felt if I left them on, I would get too drunk. Also, hi, Poops. I miss you. Even though I've been talking to you almost all day, I miss you. <laughs> I-I I am- I'm- yeah, I had enough. I've had enough for today, so yeah, you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't in all good conscience leave it on. <laughs> we were saying good things. We were saying good, good things. I made a real sexy tiefling in Baldur's Gate 3 and I was showing, uh, poofs. Uh, and he's absolutely beautiful, like so beautiful. It makes me wish I had done it in my main account. But I also really love my Dragonborn. My Dragonborn is beautiful too. But the Tiefling is gorgeous. Torn, I need to send you um, the Tiefling. Hold on, I'm gonna send it to you now. There we go, I sent you a bunch of them. And yes, you can start a file, of course. All you have to do is just click new file. <laughs> that's a good video i actually did not know that actor's name before i had to draw him um but i have seen that actor in a few different movies and now that i know who it is i'll be able to search them a little easier let's just say they have a they do a good performance if you know what i mean it's a it's it's a good performance. Also, I'm gonna totally wear my whore bag shirt uh, to watch Coco Peru. Okay, so I want to draw somebody like with a big muscular chest, like absolutely ripped. But I also want him to be stylized. I kind of want to do like a human version of the Don Tigre that I was discussing one time before. That bought this thing. watching this video critically oh yeah and it's got such a good storyline too the story matters poofs the story is actually kind of what makes it great honestly and so we've got our giant titties here there we go They just, they just getting into it. Just right into it. Sometimes that's all that's needed, poofs. Are you screaming? Are you just absolutely just violently screaming? I was playing Cookie Run, but she's been abandoned. 
<laughs> like I said, that's a good actor, and now I'm glad I know their name. Who would have known that me taking on commissions would uh, would make me learn new names? We do have different tastes, but I feel like you would like this video as well. I'm going to send it to you as well. But I'm sure you've, in your vast uh, uh, experience throughout the universe of uh, movies, you have seen this movie before, but, you know, now you know. Yeah, we are, we, Poofs and I are the same person. We're born on the same day. We're born under the same star. The thick, I know, right? I mean, me and Ch Daniel's born at the same either, so it'd have to, yeah, same BOGO. I know that feel. I happen to find some people more attractive than Torn does, so, you know. Yeah, poofs, they are, they are, um, they're very muscular actors. We'll say that. As you could tell, you lost me. Wafting them vapors my directions. Oh, yes. Bogo, do you need me to send you the movie? That Poofs is talking about. Okay, so I've got a very nice muscular body here. Uh, we don't need to draw the whole thing, I don't think. There is lo-fi, but it's just very low. And it's not a very, like, animated song. But the, um... The actor that I'm drawing for a commission... His name is Riley Price. And uh, that's the uh, that's the actor that the my commissioner has uh, focused on. My type is ten out of ten. We'll be saving. I know, right? Isn't that weird how our tastes align so well, poofs? direction body type wise but I feel like I need to make the thighs thicker hold on there we go I gotta make sure the uh, the thighs touch there we go the thighs are now touching in fact I need to make the thighs on the outside a little thicker too there we go. Perfect. Alright, so I feel like the outfit that I want to draw on them is, like, suit-based. I do get a little at the face he does, but they do be attractive. <laughs> <laughs> that noodle face is wild. Uh, yes, rhino men, please. 
That would be interesting. Should I make this a rhino? With a big old horn? See Rhino, I'm into it. I mean, I I now that uh now that Bogo has mentioned it, I'm kind of into it. Say thick boy, please. I mean, no, yeah, no. Thick boys also, um, I feel like a rhino would actually work for this. Let's make it a rhino boss, right? All right, so let's say, let me pull up what a rhino looks like in the background. So that way I kind of like get an idea of how to make this uh, uh, anthropomorphic character. Oh, rhinos are so cute though. Look at the little baby rhino. Oh my goodness, the little baby. Oh, it's sad that so many of them are dead. That makes me sad switch in this video yeah oh yeah poofs poofs it's such a good video i would not have recommended it to you unless i have come back to this video several times rhinos have such funny snoots they got big old snoots you're earning the paycheck in this one <laughs> Trying to find a good one of the face. Uh, that should work. Get rid of that head. Okay, so I've got the body, essentially. Define the body a little more. make sure that the body is just right. Just wish the free stuff was better for you to- oh yeah, for real. But like, imagine paying for videos online. Imagine paying for that nowadays. Does anyone actually have a paid subscriptions to video websites at this point? I feel like that's something with money. That's something people with money have. I don't want to draw a big belly. I pay for are the weeb ones. I need my Crunchyroll. True. That's different. That's a streaming service. Paying, I've never done that once in only windmill, because one, sometimes you gotta wanna know. Yeah. Sometimes the curiosity gets the best of you. I think Torn has done that before, where somebody we knew came up with a, with a, uh, let's say a flan, a flan based video service where they bake only flans. The only thing they bake is flans. So it's it's just only flans. Um, and he has probably paid for some of those to see what, uh, what that person's got going on. Um, and I don't think he liked the flan, to be honest. I, 
think the flan um, ended up being uh, boring and uh, one note. I don't know why I'm drawing so much body. I'm gonna be covering it up with a suit anyway. $20 flans over to oh $20 good god could you imagine being could you imagine the audacity of charging $20 unless unless you're giving daily content I don't think you're allowed to do $20 unless you're giving daily primo videos and content of you baking flans you better be baking the fuck out of those flans. Like, there better be, like, so many flans. You are, you are, like, you are out of your mind charging $20. I've made this video better. It would have been a different type of prep scene from the first one. Show them cheeks. I actually, poofs, I also think uh, that somebody watching in, uh, walking in on their, uh, their gym session uh, I think somebody walking in on their gym session would have also capped it off. Because I thought that's where I thought that somebody walking in on their gym gym session was going to happen. But nobody walked in. They just ended up working out and just chilling. Okay. See, uh, you're never gonna pay twenty dollars for plans. I only take heaps of stitches. All right, actually, like them being quite feeling. And like, um, if you, if you, I've seen this video. I've seen this uh, gym video several times, where they're working out. And if you pay attention to the background, you notice that the door opened. So it looks like in the gym video, they plan to have somebody walk in on them working out. Uh, but maybe they abandoned that, or maybe the video doesn't include it. But yeah, pay attention to the background. The door is open halfway through the video. May have it a little bit of a rolled out sleeve. I'm gonna put a watch on him because I, I feel like a nice expensive Rolex would be nice. Put a little button here. I feel like he would have like a big fucking heavy chain. fill in some kind of let's see the door is very open on their workout session just dudes lifting weights and brotherhood nothing else yep exactly that's what i'm saying i've been in a, a certain type of mood lately um i feel like there's there's certain things i look out for in my videos uh, and i feel like a nice heavy chain would be really nice i like a i like a good heavy chain maybe two heavy chains Ooh, that'd be nice, yes. Sometimes the flavor of the month gonna change, exactly. There we go, ooh, yes. Ooh, those heavy chains. My current flavor is werewolves. My uh, my flavor is always werewolves, but the, uh, the difference is uh, I wish there were more of them going online uh, than there are. There are not enough werewolf videos, and there's not a there's not a werewolf company type like genre that caters to it. Unfortunately, we need more like spooky films. There's very few and far in between spooky films.
This is a weird song. Draw wide pants here. fairy fountain when she comes out of the fairy fountain she goes oh that's what this is was milking her sex sounds on Zelda. Yeah, she really was. They said, now we're gonna need you to do a sound that you're coming out of the fountain, but that you really like coming out of the fountain. Enjoy your cookie run, poofs. I think I've already gotten all of my dailies on cookie run today. So I've, uh, I've supported, uh, keep in mind, I supported the guild. Jim. Let's give them uh, uh, two little uh, uh, hoof fingers. black layer anymore. you can hear me uh i am drinking a, a whiskey coke you know my my cookie run uh cookie my cherry vanilla whiskey coke cookie that's me right now that's what i'm having oh 
Okay, so let me see. So we've got a snoot. Okay, so let's say this is the snoot. Let's say that his neck is thick. Let's say his neck is thick as fuck. Let's say his horn comes up like this. It better be thick. It better be thick. I don't know why I had torn. Um, uh, there actually is a second horn, Poofs. It's right here. I'm going to put the second horn right here. I'm sure that's what you were referring to. Of course, because I'm a pure woman now. Not on this, uh, not on this Christian art server. It seems more cow-like. Gotta, I gotta make sure I shape it a little better. Make sure it's more rhino-coated. Give me the fucking wine! Give me the fucking wine. I feel like I want to give him a bit of a jawline. Is that weird? And so we gotta take an Uber and get turned. Yes. I mean, I'm fully up for getting turned at a drag queen comedy hour. Come on. He got voted biggest horn at the county fair. I mean, not yet, he didn't. doing these to where they're like kind of human looking do we give him a beard human adjacent exactly Rhino with a beard would look good, right? Even two beards. What would the second beard? Why why the second beard? Where would that even go? He's gonna have a bald head with a beard. Cause I told y'all I'm feeling some kind of way lately.
I mean, I think uh, rhino eyes are like all black or something like that. him a little cross-eyed. Rhinos have a vacant stare. They truly do. That's why I'm kind of, I'm kind of going a little, uh, I'm kind of going a little off script here. Extinct. I'd have a vacant stare too if I knew I was. What, yeah, that makes me sad to think about. The extinction of animals altogether is just such a bummer subject. emotional damage when I think about manatees. Oh, beautiful manatees. I don't like to talk about manatees either, but for different reasons. Reasons I've mostly gotten over, but still, it's a sore subject. Candy Pass Trauma Unlocked. <laughs> yeah. to draw him thicker. I just need to adjust his body so that's so that it's thicker. It's okay. Oh, so how do you feel about big dogs? Hoofs. I get it though. Torn also has a uh, big draw, big dog trauma too. Although I think he's mostly gotten over it. Torn, what was the dog that chased you when you were a kid? so much except for the ones that I had and see the hilarious part is I eventually want a Rottweiler they're so beautiful 
Rottweilers are such pretty dogs. Although, to be fair, I would rather have a Doberman. Dobermans are like my my long-term goal dog. Like I want one so bad. Samoyed, but after having uh, cats, now that kind of seem kind of just exist, take care of themselves, kind of just stick with that. Even though it won't have cropped ears. Oh yeah, of course. I just like the 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 main draw to Dobermans is like the the color. The coloration is so pretty. That's the reason why I like Rottweilers too. They're the same color. That like all black with the like tan accents, they're so cute. dressing up the pit bull in these cute little outfits and it was so adorable. Oh, I'll, if I find it again, poofs, I'll send it to you. But it was so cute. Close cookie run without finishing my dailies. I'm a whore. Oh no. Oh, did I? I was worried that it didn't look right. Perfect, don't you dare fuss with it. Okay, good. If I fuss with it, it won't be to change it, it'll just be to accent it.
had to make sure that the horn looked like it was coming out of his snoot. Rhino from TMNT. I can't remember if Rhino's Bebop or Rocksteady. I'm pretty sure it was Rocksteady. I think Bebop was the, um, the boar. I think Bebop the, the boar and Rocksteady the rhino. I think it was uh, alliteration. Did I give him hair of any sort? Go golden, that is correct. Sweet. Got him good. Bebop boar. God, I didn't even know that was actually uh, correct or not. I am good. I don't think the uh, the eyebrows work here. Hold on. I know about TMT is that the rat sensei is hot in one of the versions and that they canonically black. Hilarious. Which is funny when they make, um, when they make animal type, well, I guess I, guess I can't really speak. Uh, when they make animal type characters, uh, POC coded. But I feel like I might be doing that now, so I can't really speak on it. knew the vibes were there. Rhino's boobs. They're great boobs. Look at their titties. They're so part and supple. I feel like he needs a giant watch. Like, really sexy watch. Like, massive. off and hit the floor if I ran into him. I feel like he would make he would good he would make a good uh, uh, boss character. Fat cat 
vibes from Rescue Rangers, but that's more mafia leaning. I'm not gonna lie, I did have that in mind while I was drawing this. So I did, but I'm a good dude, right? I feel like he's uh, he's very lenient when he needs to be, but he knows how to show force. Also, I want to put a little ring on his horn. Someone. Ooh. Oops, did you uh did you research that uh that company I sent you? Got a fat cat, fat cat, fat cat, fat cat, fat cat, fat cat, cat, cat field. I don't think I've drawn a cat character yet, have I? Um Let's just say that there's something uh, that the company sells. Um, let's say it's a uh, fabric. Uh, they sell yards of fabric. There's like a or and uh, let's say there's a let's say there's a sheet of fabric that is 15 inches long. It's a really long piece of fabric. And it's like a thin piece of fabric too. So like long and thin piece of fabric. And it's probably the longest piece of fabric that I have seen. If you don't find it, let me know, but I, I think you'll find it. forehead here. this and see how we look so we need to come up a little bit on the right side so yes that which feller is quite handsome Yoma feller who is that Yes, okay, now I know now I know who you're talking about. Yes, yes, he is. I forgot I sent that to you. Alright, what do you think? Do we do we need to add anything else to this? I feel like we got it. Nipple tassels. You can't see his nipples.
but I will now draw some final line art. to look through their collection. It's okay, Boost. I got what you were saying. As you can tell, I read it out loud with no problem. half asleep before I started streaming tonight, but I'm feeling much better. I think it's just a conversation with all my good friends. Yes, I do believe I am talking about the Asmodeus. I believe that is one of the demon uh, sheets of fabric. Hi there, zombie lady. Welcome in. The serpent cheetah fat. Yes, yes to that one. Lady, we're drawing a rhino character this time around. so sweet. I just go with what feels right. Most of these would kill me, but like, I like to, oh, right? Yeah, some of them are kind of wild. Like the, the, the yards of fabric they include, that's a lot of fabric. Like, who would need that much fabric? What would you do with all the extra fabric that you don't use? sweet summer child right sometimes twitch is a little slow sometimes switch 
Twitch is uh, just a teeny bit slow. I do, I am glad that we gave him a beard. I will say that. That was a good decision. This makes me so mad. I'm sorry. I feel like this little fade here is in the wrong spot. I feel like I need to lower it. Here we go. Perfect. Eh, more or less. <laughs> Sounds like you need an automatic shout out. We do. Um, something like that. Looking good so far, right? I think your rhino is 10 out of 10. Thank you. I didn't know how a rhino would end up turning out, but uh, not bad. Not bad. like a club bouncer yes there's so many ways to interpret him and that's what i love about these characters is that like you can really interpret them into like so many different types of people like what types of different jobs and everything that's like my favorite thing when you can find different jobs for them or a pimp <laughs> uh, or maybe he's a pimp that's also a bouncer is good he's a pimp but he's also extremely pr 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 uh, protective of his dancers
Hey there, Dagger Hilt. Good evening. Tell me about this PNG to Ooh, yay. Uh, this is our um, really thick, muscular rhino character. I wanted to draw somebody really muscular. Uh, Pooh's made said not code because she's smart. <laughs> uh, I wanted to draw somebody really muscular. And like, uh, I think it was uh, Bogo that suggested the, uh, the rhino route. And I was all like, I've never drawn a rhino. Let's, uh, let's see how that works out. So I stared at a picture of a rhino, and here we are. Yes, I hope, uh, I hope you're okay, Poofs. I know we, we keep talking. And I know you're okay, but I, I, uh, I hope you stay more okay. Shift here is crazy. Like, it's so cold right now. My god. I'm gonna copy and paste this, uh, this hoof hand here. It's seven. It's like very nice outside. It was hoodie weather. Oh my god. I'm not ready. I get real cold real fast, y'all. That amnesia, so any breeze destroys me. Yeah, I, I get hella cold. I ain't got no meat on my bones, so I don't have a lot of insulation. for my bones it didn't work oh no
It sounds like a song you would hear on Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, and I, I am very happy to be off for the next few days. I don't have to go back to work until uh, Tuesday of next week. Which reminds me, Poofs, have you already watched the new episode of Ahsoka? Did it come out yesterday? It's okay if you have, by the way. We should watch it sometime tomorrow if you get a chance. Piani. <gasps> Thank you for the wasabi P. Usagi. You can do Z Plus. Little Mermaid is on there now, and I want to, want to watch it again. We need to watch Little Mermaid, and I started watching Elementals this morning. But I stopped because like I got like two minutes in and I was all like, oh, this is really interesting. I bet uh, Torn would like to watch this. So I stopped and we should watch that together. There we go. That crunchy wasabi pea. Honestly, Usagi is a dumb bitch. Really. Oh, truly. Well, welcome in, Usagi. Um, our character, the PNG tuber we're drawing right now, is a big sexy rhino. Can you give me some boar leather? Big sexy uh, rhino to get some rhino leather. I'm just kidding. Don't get rhino leather. Rhinos are extremely endangered, almost to extinction. Uh, that was just a poor joke. Also, hi, Sue. Welcome in. Don't touch rhinos or I'll cry. I know, exactly. Little babies. Uh, that, that brings me to the next uh, question, though. What color rhino should this be? Should it be like a rare white rhino or should we make it like the gray or tan? Oh, I'm sorry you had tummy pain, Sue. I hope you feel better. I hope you're feeling better or you feel better soon. Instantly went to purple, but you should make them white. What color suit? If it's gonna be a white rhino, I'm thinking red, a red suit. Subtle red. Real men wear pink. Ooh! <gasps> a really pretty coral pink color would actually look so good on him. Burgundy. Oh, burgundy red. Okay, those are both good colors. Okay, so I do like burgundy red too. Are we are we thinking uh pink though? I see more I see more pinks in chat than I do red. Coral pink number two. Pink? Okay, we'll do we'll do like a nice coral pink. And I kinda wanna do silver accents. Is 
just do a couple more accents here and there. Pink with burgundy red buds. Oh, poofs. I like it. Sorry. I'm drawing the, um, I'm drawing the, uh, them filth goblins, um, symbol, but should I draw a different symbol on the chest? Like a little enamel pin? What kind of pin should be on him? pin girl dad because he predicts his girls <laughs> it has to be a simple pin y'all like a skinny bird. I see them cleaning rhinos all the time. Oh, Sue, good point. Let me look at what those are called. Can't say so maybe something to do with that. So it looks like a lot of the common birds that clean off rhinos and other animals are called oxpeckers. Hmm. Maybe I should draw one on his shoulder. Let's draw something on the shoulder, and I like uh, I like Dagger Hilt's idea of um, the symbolizing strength. Should I put it more pronounced? I feel like I should scoot it out just a little bit. Enjoy your BRB. Name that bird Fran. wing is not so high up, so let me just scoot it down a bit.
There we go. I got a little bird on his shoulder. Let me see what, uh, like, a, a good symbol of strength would be, technically. Another painting could be an anchor. Anchors are pretty strong, keep ships stable. Hmm. But, uh, but it is, uh, an animal from, like, the Sahara, so I don't know if an anchor would be the best choice. So, funny story, rhinoceroses are a symbol of strength. That's funny. So, uh... <laughs> so, so we already, uh, we already drew a rhino. <laughs> so, yeah, a shield. Oh, I like that. get the top of this shield looking right. Uh, that looks fine. I like that. I feel like we're ready to color. Bosco got his puppy vaccines today. Oh, yay! It was the first time with the vet. He got scared and pooped on the floor. Aw. It happens. Sometimes when puppies get scared, they can't hold their peeps and their poops. She's excited.
So white rhinos are surprisingly not as white as I thought they were. They're kind of more of like a, a darker gray. Oh yeah, animals are great. Little sweet babies. I was on a, a big... Um, Star Trek binge. New Star Trek, not old Star Trek. The sugar lies with today's chin boo boo. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, zombie lady. Uh, and I was watching um, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, and I enjoy that so much. And. Yeah, how did, uh, how did your. Um, how did your sugar glider get injured? Let me look up what coral. Yes, I enjoyed it for reasons, poofs. Although I will say, those specific characters are not in the series the whole time, or at least the, um, the Kirk character isn't, unfortunately. He is not on the ship the whole time. It's just like a special occasion that he's on the ship. Okay, so coral pink is around this kind of color. Does look good in this pink. So she got to amputate part of the tail. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, zombie lady. That sucks. Poor little baby. Sexy Rhino. I'm I'm actually kind of kind of feeling that right now. He's looking good. This uh, y'all y'all had a good idea with the pink. somehow made his titties titty more, right? Let's see what a burgundy color would be. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That would go well with it. Also, I see a little chunk of uh, 
jacket that I did not color. He's single. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. So I'm thinking he is a boss somewhere. I'm not sure where they're a boss at. But I feel like they're a boss. Like, I want to say boss or manager, even. But either way, he is leading something. The mob boss. That is actually kind of where I was leaning towards. I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking more mafioso type boss. Should I give him chest hair? for chest hair. <laughs> I feel like Poofs would also agree. I always love chest hair. The hairier the better. Alright, now that I've drawn his shiny necklace, let's uh let's draw some chest hair. Stop calling me out, Harlot. You know I will. You know I'll call you out every time. Okay, so rhinos have a really weird looking eye, y'all. They have a real weird looking eye. I'm about to color it in. Their scleras are brown. And they've got like a ring around the sclera. And then it goes into a deeper brown in the middle. But there's like this ring of white around the iris and the sclera. So it looks like this. It's very odd. Definitely has a weird, it definitely gives him a different, like a weird vibe, that's for sure. And once I add some like, um, shine to the eyes, it'll probably look a little better, by the way. Because I know, like, once the eyes, like, when, when you don't really have like a shine to an eye, they're kind of like flat and one dimensional, but once I add the shine, it'll look a little better. his other eyes right now take your time <laughs> Alright, 
right, so everything's colored in, minus the burb. Oh, I can't remember what the bird is called. Oxpecker, that's the one. Why did I it, oh, why did I forget that? It has the word pecker in it. Is Pokemon community game not giving y'all what you need? Name the bird Sylvester. I think uh I think uh Poof's already got naming dibs and has already named it um Fran. But the Rhino's name could be Sylvester. So it'll be Sylvester and Fran. Yay. <laughs> Sylvester seems like a really strong name for him. So that's what uh that's what a uh, ox cox uh ox pecker ox pecker looks like. And the rhino have a cigar in one hand if we were leaning into oh, that might that might work out. Um mm. Although I am worried about um uh tobacco usage on a character. I have to make sure that it doesn't trigger any content warnings. Well, any like, yeah, I mean, I want to, I do want to, cause that would be sexy, but I gotta watch out for content warnings. Cause if I'm, if I'm going to be giving these out as like PNG tubers, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I can. If somebody, um, if somebody bought the commission from me and they wanted to pay me to add a cigar, I totally would. There we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> I had to make sure I added everything else just to make sure everything looked good. Mm, yeah. What about something ridiculous like a carrot? No! <laughs> That would be uh, almost comedic in a Looney Tunes kind of way. Oh lord, that'd be funny though. So you do a stock of wheat. Ooh, actually, yes. Cause I feel like that would fit right in, right? Is there Hoyt in the plains? Yeah, I feel like we can get away with that. Let's do that. Ooh, I like that idea. Oops, that's not the right pen. Hoyt.
like it. it. Looks good. one is a fave yeah he looks good and then when he opens his mouth and talk it kind of droops and reveal a golden tooth Ooh, can i have like a full top set of like well actually he's doing silver aesthetics so it would be like a silver like a chrome chrome mouth gluten warning how dare you But yeah, I do I do like the idea of metal. Give that man some grills. Yeah, poofs. I was I was thinking earlier that we may have drawn him a little POC coded, and I'm kind of into it. Kinda sexy, not gonna lie. Blacking right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh Lord. All right, I think we've got the colors right. Why don't I remove my pants and panties? <laughs> uh, I feel like I need to draw the lapels just the tiniest shade lighter. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the lapels just a little bit lighter, not too much, but just enough so that there's a difference. Yes, ooh, that looks good. Yes. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. My left titty to be his personal tailor. You gotta feel in all the right spots to make sure everything forms, for, like, forms to his body just right. door and his muscles would be very prominent I would rush to the door he seems very tough but I also think he'd be such a nice gentleman yeah exactly I feel like someone who would wear a nice coral pink would not be mean I feel like they'd be in touch with their with their like feminine side and be a gentleman all right I think I have it all colored all right so now on to the shading this is where it really pops I mean locked and loaded when you post this yes my favorite so far he looks real handsome i haven't drawn a lot of like muscular male characters weirdly enough like i've drawn thicker male characters but not ones that have just like massive muscles like this i think the last the the last one that had like extreme muscles like this was the uh the green and blue goblin Oh, 
have to look through what we have. I might change the color of this horn to be a little more tan. Horn polisher. Ooh. Custom to guard my dream. <laughs> We're feeling all, all sorts of protective vibes from him. I do like that. I do like that like trope where you're where you're with a character and you feel like so protected. Like he would definitely make you feel protected. Escort you to your car at night. I'm the one <laughs> he's protecting you from. <laughs> oh lord, that's funny. Oops. A little bit of a marky mark there. Sort of disturbing art are we arting today. Jody K, we are drawing a uh, kind of big, strong rhinoceros feller this time around. Rhinoceros Asai have three toes, three whole toes. Bodyguards, that, that's what everybody's been saying. Yes, bodyguard bar bartender. And I actually uh, drew him with three fingers. So that worked out great. One of the fingers is behind his back, obviously, since he's gripping his waist. But that's funny that, that that's how I drew him. I actually did not know that beforehand. like mink, milk and honey y'all are really y'all are really painting the picture here and i'm like really loving it like i know this is a guy's entire backstory at this point I'm reading them like a book. Yeah. Technically they have four, but one is tiny and doesn't touch the ground. Yeah. We'll say that his uh, his uh, fourth tiny little toe is underneath his sleeve. draw uh 
uh, girl or non-binary character, but I want to say girl because um, I want to draw something like really girly pop, like extremely girly pop. His abs are telling you secrets. Yeah, the, that little peak of abs here is telling you everything you need to know. Poor toe doesn't even really look like a toe. It's kind of a nubbin. Exactly. Put a bra on him. Oops. I'm not gonna go in on that. Let's just say, I would not say no. Madness. Two-way street poofs. The child of the Lord. Ooh, uh, look at all these bitches. Titties, exactly. I just want to love the Lord and not, not be bothered. bothered. You know it, Juju. Here's our uh, character for the day. Um, we're drawing a uh, rhinoceros. Also, hi, Juju. I hope you're doing all right. It's a beefy. So much beef. He knows the answer to where's the beef. It's here. It's right here. All of it. contain them bosoms. Meet Sylvester and the big titty man and his friend Fran. Don't eat rhinos, kids. They're endangered. Exactly. Busting out of his top. Yeah. What would be really sexy is drawing like a really sheer white, like, uh, like a wife beater.
don't know. What do we think of the the extremely sheer uh, white beater underneath? Should we just get rid of it all together and just show off his titties? I still have to pay for five minutes with him. He might not be for sale. He might he might have something to sell you, but he 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 might he himself might not be for sale. Although, you know, everybody's got a price, right? Enjoy more titties myself. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. We'll leave it, we'll leave it open. Should he have tattoos? Should we put a tattoo on him? Like one one tattoo over his titty. What would it be? I'm gonna find out. Nautical star. Dirty, I'll sit on my hands and behave. Nautical star. Yeah, why don't you speak your truths? like some uh some milk dud or milk tank for reasons i'm trying to think of like um symbolism to, to have to do with like the regions they live two in africa and three in asia Toys are off giraffe. Y'all are wild. Hmm. R.I.P. Toys R Us, right? I think what I might do is I think it's actually kind of close to what uh, Juju had in mind. Um, I am going to do the um, the planes symbol from Magic the Gathering. Alright. 
go. I wonder if Babies R Us is still alive. You know, my sister used to work at a Babies R Us. She, she talked about how people would come in, load up a cart, and just steal all the time. Isn't that wild? But I guess, you know, when it has to do with a child, you, you kind of do what you can to survive. So if it has a magic symbol, it has a, it, he's a nerd, and that means he could uh, potentially be a weeb, too. It's true. That is true. I feel like he's the kind of person that he gets this tattoo, and, like, most ladies, uh, oh yeah, there's so many, and they've got trample, so keep that in mind. Um, I feel like most ladies don't know what the symbol means, and they're like, Oh, I like your son, that's so hot. And then the ladies that actually know what Magic the Gathering is, he like geeks out with them. And he, he feels feelings. So that's, how, that's the way to get to his heart, is just know uh, Magic the Gathering. And like, nerd stuff. Yes, and I do believe that is one of the most stolen things, Poofs, yes. There we go. Nice and big, too. This tattoo is huge. Did I make it smaller? Should I make this tattoo smaller? <laughs> no. Maybe a little bit smaller? That's what I'm thinking. There we go. I feel like that's a good size. Like it pulls away from the titty if it's too big. How about this? I feel like that's small enough, right? It's a good size. Also, should he have two of them? Just one. Okay. That's what I was thinking too. I'm gonna make it a blue color because usually older tattoos usually have like a bit of a blue tint to them. A 
white rhino. Okay, question slash suggestion. Yep, give it to me. Closer to this. I can't, obviously, I can't do it too far in just because, um, you know, his entire titty isn't quite revealed. I lowered it a bit more, but yeah, we can't, we can't really get too far in. We can say his nipples are really close in, though. Also, I'm feeling something. I feel like I want to have a pattern, like a really subtle pattern in the, uh, the jacket. Hold on. Mystic. Textures. Why is it so big? It's so large. That doesn't need to be that big. Hmm. I'm trying to make a smaller... Oh, I think it's just... It's a very tiny drawing. Um... Hold on, so I'll just, uh, make it smaller and multiply it. erase it for the pants and make the uh make the pattern only for the jacket I'm super into it yeah I'm kind of digging it I kind of want to make it lighter though Yeah, like, I want to make it, like, white instead of, like, a, a different color. Definitely add some softness to it.
get this looking just right. smaller pattern. Awesome. Thank you, Dagger Hilt. I'm gonna round out some of these textures. But. Some of these textures look a little cut off. Headcanon. He wanted to go to fashion design school, but he just he just didn't fit in poofs just Didn't understand his vibe exactly He just wanted fashionable clothing for bigger men is that so is that so hard to, to like get? And thank you for the wasabi pee. Please hydrate on some water and get me a wasabi pee. have the pattern on the jacket I feel like that breaks up a little bit of the like a little bit of the like too much color thing I think that really did it I think that really uh really changed up the vibe that really hit the spot, I mean. Give it that je ne sais quoi. So now let's draw his mouth open. I 
kind of want to draw the metal a little darker. I feel like it's not quite dark enough. Oh, to the bouncer place in the background. Yeah. I'm going to do the metal a little darker, and I think I'm going to draw the horn a little more brown. Or maybe I'll make it more white. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I like that. Kind of distinct distinguishes the silver. Okay, so let's see how his mouth would be. I actually don't know what an open rhino's mouth would look like. I'm gonna look and see what that looks like. <laughs> they look funny. They don't look like they have teeth. Oh, they've got little fangs. Okay, that's kind of cute. But they don't have, uh, the only teeth that I visibly see are two little fangs at the bottom, y'all. So I guess we'll make those two little fangs at the bottom. I guess we'll make those silver. That's kind of funny. I'm also Googling how to mitigate a sugar glider is fun. Aww. Yeah, I bet that's hard to do. Most of their chewing on the ridges on the top of their mouths. Interesting. chewing it's more of like a grinding yeah kind of I'm sorry, Dagger Hill. They're being hateful. They're being hateful tonight. So 
feel like I need to draw a little more snoot. A little more snoot up here. Jealous of his eyelashes. I don't know why I wanted to give him really nice eyelashes, but I was like, he deserves them. I made them real nice and, and angular. to make it as accurate yet like look just as good as I can with his mouth open. I think I I think I succeeded. I think it looks okay. Yeah. Looks like it's opening his mouth. Shiny detailing, exactly. bit of a uh, color in here. It's almost like grayish though. Like on the inside of the mouth. Shh. 
shiny chrome color. If y'all ever need to bribe a sugar glider, they love apple juice. Totally useful info, for the info there. See, that's something I did not know. Also be bribed with apple juice or cheese. Oh, I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu. I feel like I know the answer, but uh, would you wash down cheese with apple juice? Poofs. Without hesitation. I feel like that's what you were going to say. I don't know why I'm getting deja vu right now. Better cheese on apple pie. See, I don't know if that's something I enjoy. I have heard of that, though, because I used to work at a Cracker Barrel, and that was a very common thing at Cracker Barrel for someone to order um, a, a slice of cheese with their apple pie. So I'm, I've got, I've kind of grown used to it. I do love Cheez-Its though. My God, Cheez-Its are delicious. Wow, so many options. The uh, the white cheddar Cheez-Its are my favorite, and I have to have them in the house at all times. Eyes look badass now with the shades added. Oh yeah, like with the with the different like shades of color. Yeah, you can really tell there's like some depth to it. Also, with and without the shading, y'all. Let's see. I love doing that. Do that. In that wild, the like transformation. And he almost divorced me. Almost burned down the house, too. I mean, some would say you were almost asking for it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not funny. Rhino titties, right, Pidge? You got big old rhino titties. Did we figure out if he's single? I feel like, yes, he is single. And for some reason, I feel like he's leaning more hetero-flexible. Like, he's more heterosexual, but like, I mean, he'd be okay if, uh, if gay guys hit on him. He's cool with it. Because, you know, he grew up in the club scene, so he gets it. Heterosexual. <laughs> We, uh, we've come up with a, a whole backstory for him. Uh, he is, uh, he is POC-coded. 
Uh, he is a bouncer slash mafioso at a club. Uh, he is very kind. Um, and he has a secret desire to be a fashion designer that never came uh, to fruition. Um, I feel like he would love anyone. Yeah, exactly. Like, he leans more towards um, uh, people of the female persuasion, but I feel like he would be okay if, if the personality was right with a man. There we go. We got we got them shiny teeth, y'all. Look at them. Look at those glints of silver. Also, hi, Pidge. Hope you're doing all right. All right. So, what do we think of the mouth? Does it look like he's speaking? Hello. How are you? That wouldn't be his voice. I can't do a deep enough voice. Hello. How are you? It's me, Sylvester. I don't have a deep enough voice for it, I'm sorry. I wish I had a voice modulator like Juju. I may not sleep with you because you're, you're not his type, but he'll happily flirt with you. Ooh, I love those kinds of people. So I see a spot that I missed with the shading. Pecs need to be lined just right. There we go. Perfect. Oh, um, I have to save it differently, um, because the wheat is on a, a different layer. I had to turn it off so that, because like, watch, if I open the mouth with that layer, with that wheat layer there, it stays there. So I have to save it on two, uh, two different layers. But, um, when it starts moving, the wheat will move, uh, with the PNG tuber. Uh, let's draw some blinking eyes, and then we're done. Look at that. Two hours and 40 minutes, y'all. We made some good time. every time he speaks <laughs> i feel like he would uh poofs uh you know how people have like a cigarette container a pokeball is using such a nice to not clog chat oh i don't mind if y'all need to use the chat for pokeball stuff I, I usually just read around it i don't mind uh but i feel like he's the type to have a really long cigarette case and he opens it up and it's just like fresh stalks of wheat or sprigs of wheat That'd be funny. Oh, I see what you're saying, Sue. Well, thank you. That's very considerate. He winking, right? Wink. Hold on. There we go. But unlike the sugar glider, um, I'm going to need both eyes to blink. <laughs> the sugar glider can get away with it because he was high off of sugar.
So y'all start thinking of the next uh, next character we're doing. It has to be a female. I'm thinking something like really girly. Like I, I said earlier, I wanted it to be something like girly pop. Uh, start thinking of like a creature or an animal or like a vibe. I don't, I don't even care, like anything. Start putting suggestions in the chat if y'all want. Um, we'll we'll see how many people we can, how many things we can come up with, and I'll choose out of all of them. Yeah, it has to be something that you think would vibe with like a really girly pop kind of vibe. An otter would be adorable. We can do an otter if more people agree. Y'all can keep doing suggestions, but if otter is the one that y'all agree on, I will do it. Otter's pretty fucking adorable, pardon my language. No, no, that is the perfect language to say that. They are fucking adorable. Okay, so otter it is. This is gonna be interesting. I want a rat, but I would also say otters are fresh. I dare you fucking swear my Christian stream. Partner says, do a stout dressed as Rambo. What? Well, hold on. Let me see what that is. Stout animal. Oh my god, that is so fucking cute. Holy crap. Oh my god, they're so cute. They look like little weasels, little ferrets. We're still gonna do an otter, but I'm so glad I googled a uh, I googled the stout because that is so cute. My God, I want to squeeze it. It gives me like cute rage. Like, don't let that thing near me, cause I'll squeeze it. I'll squeeze the hell out of it. of animals as adorable as uh, like they can't be pets hilarious just get just get your your face bitten off by a little a uh, little ferret my god it's funny how like just imagine that nibbling a cube of cheese right it's funny how like the most tiny adorable animals can oftentimes be like the most aggressive So here is the finished version of them. I was letting buy me his cute, so cute, yeah. The horn doesn't fit on the screen, so let me see. Rhinos are chill though, yeah. All right, so blinking. Speaking. Ooh, not that. I like it. I'm gonna save it and we're gonna try this out, y'all. So uh, wait around. Uh, I may take a little bit of a bathroom break in the meantime, but stick around and I will be this rhino character when I get back. So hang out, y'all.
rat chicken bitch. Yeah. Fucking corn says bitch. All right, what do we think so far? Also, the fact that uh, Sylvester here has bouncer vibes when this bear that we made also has bouncer vibes, but to two different clubs. Like, these are two very different clubs that they're uh, bouncers at. You're accidentally making your own city. I, I might be. We've got a lot of characters so far and monsters. It would be fun to have a story around all of these. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I saw him and I was like, oh yeah, he, he also gave bouncer vibes. So, uh, what club is Sylvester at? I feel like he would be at like a like a dubstep, like really dancey, dancey vibe. And of course, uh, our bear here would be at a much more punk slash metal metal band club. But yeah, this one turned out all right, y'all. Do you like him and how he speaks and blinks? I feel like it's very accurate to um, Rhino's when his mouth is open. So, you know. And the little weed stalk moves when it when I open my mouth. So let me pull up a picture of an otter. Oh my god, otters are so cute. Why are otters so cute? My partner wants you to make his packs due to the Terry Crews animation. That would be perfect. I might think about doing that. I think Sylvester is my number two spot. The Axolotl is still my number two one girly. Girly pop otter. I love that idea so much. I think it'll turn out great, y'all. I think this is going to be a fun one. I'm gonna look up the uh, aesthetics. See if I can get some. Uh... So it's very, it's very like 
Barbie slash like Harajuku slash pinup slash like Lisa Frank. Like it's it's a lot of things. So I think we could really go wild with this one. See, now you're making me want to do the Terry Crews booby animation. I think uh, I think eventually I will, because I feel like that would be an easy. I feel like that would be an easy one to do. I could probably get it done easily. <laughs> Maybe soon. If I do do it, I'll I'll let y'all see it. All right, so let me pop on into this one. Okay, so I already know that um, this otter is not going to be too boobylicious. Should definitely have a striped rainbow sweater. I like that. I like that. I feel like she's going to be a little more modest than some of the other females that we've done. All right, so let's draw the otter face first. Uh, OK, so they've got little snoots. I look kind of like this. Snoop. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay, perfect. And she's got like eyes that are definitely turned this direction. So they would be kind of shaped like this. And it looks like they actually have some pretty good eyelashes, weirdly enough. So they would have kind of like a Kind of like this. Let me just draw one side, just copy and paste it. On. Obviously, this snoot is way too big, but um, I'm still trying to like get each piece of the uh, the face just right. Also, the fact that they have um, Uwu face is just uh, just absolutely perfect. Otters forever, Uwu. Exactly. Flatter lip would actually be better. The eye looks a bit severe, but that's just what their eyes look like. By the way, y'all, I am open for commissions. I keep forgetting to mention that. Uh, mainly because I'm always so busy with commissions. But if you want to get a slot, y'all let me know. Because uh, I, you know, don't have too many. Oh yeah, she is definitely going to have some bows. But I feel like I had to mention the commissions, uh, because I keep forgetting There's so many to do that. Extra many will know where to begin. To make a commission command with a link. True. Yes. Maybe it'll connect to our website. I don't know. We need to figure. Uh, we need to figure all that out, y'all. We're terrible at marketing ourselves. We're not very good at it. Check next week. I might come bother you for things. Sweet. Right. 
Write that down, write that down! I feel like I might shrink the lips down a little bit. Um, I have it on a Legend of Zelda lo-fi, uh, channel. So that's why it's kind of seeming, uh, yes, yes, you are terrible at marketing yourself. Yeah, I'm really bad at it. But, like, I think maybe I'm just a little spoiled, uh, poofs, uh, because of my, uh, commission sugar daddy. So that's kind of my fault. Yeah, this is a this is a very pretty song. I like it. socials and just take over i would not even say no at this point <laughs> chin like this but not too actually it would be kind of closer up it's still looking a little scary but we're gonna fix that i gotta i gotta make sure i get the the proportions right first she's okay if she has a little bit of a, a thicker cheeks we did say we're gonna make her a little more modest than the others but she's not exactly gonna be a bombshell They got little tiny ears, y'all. They got little tiny ears. Also, I totally forgot that I was uh, uh, Sylvester for a moment. I am going to switch back to... <laughs> I'm going to switch back to my regular uh, PNG tuber model. Bye, Sylvester. I like Sylvester, though. He turned out great. All right, I'm back. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, so I feel like... Sylvester, no! Exactly. Uh, I feel like... Girly Pop is... Um, I want to say dark hair. I want to say like a, like a Melanie Martinez type character. And I want it like long and straight almost. Kind of like this. Very bubbly, very sweet is why I meant exactly. Like she's gonna be a fucking sweetheart. About the character from Holic with the giant curls. How about we make the the bottoms curl up a bit?
spiral curls, right? Yes, pink and purple highlights. Ooh, she's gonna look so cute. Definitely, I want like a big ass bow, like right here. Ooh, maybe a heart in the middle. The janky looking heart, but it's just a sketch. Love her already. She's looking so cute already! This one, for some reason, this one feels so easy. Like, I just feel like I'm gonna already connect with her. Girly Pop is moving you. I also have what they describe as soft girls she looks like she enjoys cupcakes yes uh let's see i am gonna give her um glasses but like these weird like stylistic pointy ones like this and they're gonna be rose tinted so anything underneath the glasses are gonna be like a really pretty like pink color let's do a little point here A little arrow let's do a little uh let's do a little plasticky point here too okay there we go yeah those are cute there we go uh, let's give her big ol' earrings. Uh, I always, like, my go-to is always big ol' pearl earrings, like big circular ones. Uh, but we could change those earrings if y'all are, if y'all are feeling something else. Glasses are wholesome, yes. Also, I'm gonna copy and paste these I don't these know pearls. anything about seduction. Anything about seduction. Her body yet. <laughs> Maybe soft pink. Ooh, soft pink. Yes. Y'all, we're really feeling the pink vibes tonight. I feel like should we um should we deviate away from pink and do like soft blues and yellows? You think that would be cute? I feel like a baby blue would be so pretty. Powder blues and soft baby blue. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Like 
kind of want to make this a double bow. That way we can have two different colors on it. Sense. Yes, I feel like blues and yellows would look really good together. Like it'd be very complimentary, especially like soft yellows and powder blues. Yes, that would definitely give her soft girl vibes. Let's tone down the smile just a bit. Let's still give her the uwu -oo smile, but let's make it a little smaller, just to make her face a little more petite. Giving her like brat's lips. <laughs> See her rocking a shimmer gloss. Oh, God, yes. She's gonna look so fucking cute. I'm giving her an eyebrow, a very arched eyebrow. That's just because it's a it, the thinner the thinner brow is uh, just you know the style. Give her a little bit of a cheekbone, just a teeny bit. Let me just clone that eyebrow. That way they're twins and not uh not distant cousins. Distant cousins. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that kills me. Ooh, I feel like she would be the type that carries like a like a coffee, like an iced coffee with her. the glasses up. I'm going to keep the glasses on another layer. And a cute pink spiky not Starbucks cup. Yes. She's a boba kind of girl. Oh, yes. She'd also offer to pay every time. Yes. She is sounding so sweet so far, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to give her a little bit of a chin because uh, otters have a cute little chin. Says she's going to the bathroom, but instead she's paying. Ugh. A freaking sweetheart. You think she would look cute with freckles? You might draw that last, but...
and it would look like the uh it actually um where the whiskers come out on an otter they've got little black uh little black freckles coming out so this would actually fit like the otter kind of thing and we could draw little white whiskers coming out of her face that would be cute Alright, so we've got kind of the face already. Now we gotta figure out a body. And where is the body? This hair, though, it's going off. Give her robot arms like the otter. Lila from Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Hilarious. Do another layer where there's more curly hairs. It's like a disturbing layer, which I usually describe where it kind of like goes over the top of another layer. That way it looks like I've I've done these layers naturally. Good riddance, you little filthy McNasty! Thank you for the lurk poofs. Yes, that blends right in. Sweet. side. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Hmm. All right, so we're going to put this on another layer for now. We're gonna make that invisible for a bit while we come up with her body. 
But it's got to be like otter like, kind of. But well, otters have a really weird body, so we're going to have to get creative. So it's almost like bean shaped. A little like this. So she's going to look skinnier. Let's see if we can't figure something out here. So let's say her clavicles are here. Let's trim her up a little bit. It's like Shakira, right? I'm not I'm not trying to make her too hippie though. I don't want to add too much ass. We we're, we're, we're keeping her modest. Not that uh, women with big asses are sluts or anything. That is not what I'm saying. Not at all. she wouldn't have her arms crossed. They'd be just kind of open and out to the side. And they've got really tiny hands. little nails but yes hi there angels cut up angels cut as torn says how are you like this would be kind of cute. She would definitely have a little bit more like amorphous type body. Okay, tired of playing Palea. <laughs> Did they run out of things to do in Palea? tiny neck or just kind of scoot her body up hey there tyranna welcome in tired oh you're tired and playing paleo okay got it i'm i caught up i'm caught up y'all Uh, 
pop here. Do something frilly. I think I actually have a frills brush. Let's see if I can use that. God, I haven't ever used it. Anime ruffles. Let's see if this does something. Oh my god. You kidding me? What? Good night, Dagger Hilt. Are you freaking out, Tarana? That's what you've been looking for. to Tarana being stolen. Oh no, someone took her. Go back up to the ruffles again. Let's see how we can get this done. Need a good guideline. These also look like they'd be weird teeth.
place like this. We'll liquefy here. Get a bit, a bit of a poofy dress. I don't like this part. Hold on. There we go. Maybe just extend further out with like some tool. Might not be seeing much of her body if I uh, if I have anything to do with it. I guess. Outfits are statements, exactly. Bubbly, truly a pop princess. She'll be bestie with, with Soggies. <laughs> I feel like polka dots would be cute for the top. Get weirdly abstract. Something like that. I feel like a really cute necklace would be good here. Whoopsie, wrong brush. Heart necklace here. Fabrics are fabricating, right? And these are just like the sketches, so I'm uh imagine what the actual like line art's gonna look like. I need another necklace.
And then I feel like I need a third necklace. But this one's more of a choker. erase some of these lines because this is where her hands are going to be. Erase some of these lines because we're not going to see those. Erase some of this. I need to raise one of her hands so that she's carrying a purse. I feel like I need another strap, like, right here. Okay, so let's see what's going to show up under her hair or over it. Widen her out a bit. Take her hair out a little further here. much better much higher up hair I draw this chunk of hair behind her hand like we need to would it be in front of her hand like it would be in front because all of her hair is pushed forward plus if it got all that way yeah I need a bow here somewhere. Oh, that bow does not look good.
feel like I'm creeping too close to lowly territory. Can I get rid of the bow? Oh. I guess it's not a bad thing. Fashion, Harajuku fashion. True, like soft fashion. Maybe a sash. Let's see. Get rid of the bow. <coughs> True. I feel like this needs to come up higher, like the the frills. Oh, it feels more contemporary. Don't touch my nipples. Hey there, Justice. How are you? I do like this waist a bit higher. I haven't had to draw semi-fashionable clothing in a while, y'all. Y'all will have to forgive me if I'm I'm getting back into it. Well, well, well. How are you, Justice? We actually already drew a PNG tuber. Make her look like E.T. when she's in drag. No! Although we are heading that direction. I'm thinking about just ripping off the bottom part and just giving her legs. Make it more mature. I might be giving her some legs. I feel like the, the big poofy dress part, that's the part that was holding me back. Give her big thick thighs. I feel like we shouldn't. I feel like I was avoiding giving her big thick thighs. But the, uh, the urge to give people big thick thighs is always strong with me. I don't know why. Justice, do you want to see the, the first PNG tuber we drew tonight? BTT, big thick dice, yep. Yeah. 
Here he is. This is our uh, rhinoceros PNG tuber. Tids, he's got big old tids. So yeah, I'm just gonna zoom right in on them. Yeah, he turned out pretty cool. Look at their titties. It's their <laughs> part themselves. Exactly. I'm glad we got rid of the big frilly part of the dress. That's what I was trying to do, but it looked a little weird when I got them really close together. Uh, I bet if I angled them, though, like this direction... Yeah, that looks a little better. Because otherwise the proportions look a little odd. Yeah, that does look much better. Thank you. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Plus, she looks cuter this way. Like, she's a little more shy. Look, I need to move them over a little bit to the left, though. Just a teeny bit. There we go. And of course we have to have the little otter tail. Super adorbs, yeah. I'm glad I changed the dress up because it was there was something about it that was just bugging me. couple bracelets. I feel like a tiny little purse would be cute. Like one of those little square ones.
And then we'll make it polka dotted like her dress, that way they match. Actually, I could probably just copy and paste these. give her a weird shaped bag true what would you want it shaped as like a dino nugget hilarious I I kind of dig that Where'd I put the purse? There it is. Or actually, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. bags with the bunny has like scars and stitch marks so they have candy shaped bags hmm what to do then some of these lines so I, so I can see what I'm working with here. The Pikachu face bag. I have to make sure that it's not, uh, I have to make sure it's not copyrighted. ago. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> um, I actually did draw a Pokemon S creature that was an otter. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it for y'all. this into some kind of purse. Isn't it cute though? You could probably come up with something like that along these lines.
feel like it's coming together. Did that actually ever get posted? I don't think it did. I don't think I ever posted it anywhere. This is our slim, it got posted. Yeah. <laughs> don't drag me. I could probably just do a purse that goes around her shoulder. Hold on. Let me see if I've got a nice chain that I can give her. Oh no, um... That one technically was not for paper drag. I made it for paper drag, but that one ended up not being used. But the one, the also the other paper drag Thanks thing. Thanks for the lurk -a uh, Also, Hugo, thank you so much for the lurk. The other paper drag thing that I did never did get posted. The uh, the tiger, the tiger dragon like look. Eventually, I just need to post it myself. Until you post. That would be like four or five posts. Spoiler alert, I lost. So it's not like it matters. Not like I'll get penalized. And if they're not posting it, it's kind of not my fault if I just go ahead and do it myself. I'm just gonna make it candy, like, peppermint candy, uh, like a save you should be doing. No, 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 uh, Procreate, uh, the wonderful app that I'm using. Uh, I 100% recommend Procreate if y'all are doing, pro uh, drawing digital art on the iPad. Uh, it does auto saves. So even if it crashes, um, it'll save your progress. I get thirsty. Thank you for the hydrate, zombie lady. Yeah. Exactly. I'm just gonna make this like a peppermint. There we go. And then we just have the purse against her side. And I have to give her another bracelet on this side. Maybe like a little charm hanging from it. Maybe a couple charms, actually. There we go. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing good, pupper dude. Bag is perfect. 
Isn't that cute? It's a little peppermint. About to go to karaoke with friends. Oh, that sounds like fun. I feel like we're pretty much done. I feel like I don't want to keep going because I feel like I'm going to overload her. Should I go ahead and do line art now? I feel like we've gotten it. Peppermint whale plays cookie run today. I'm gonna make her little ears stand out more. I feel like she's not showing enough animal features. I can't remember the last time I did karaoke. I would have to just get blasted to gain the courage to get up there. Wait, I don't like this ear. Ear, I'm gonna just copy and paste this ear. This ear turned out all right. God, I cannot wait for you to be dead. Welcome in. Oh my God, I was in your chat. I guess uh, now I'm. Uh, I guess I'm now watching myself. Uh, but welcome in, uh, Brendo eleven twenty four. I'm just gonna say that. We'll just call you Brendo. Uh, Mama Walther and Zax. How was the stream? I was listening in most of the time, so I know kind of what happened. But how did y'all feel about that? How did y'all feel about how that ended? Okay, that's... Okay, those ears are crooked. Or not the ears, the glasses are crooked. Should be more like this. Right? Plotted. Plotted and shenaniganed. So what we're doing right now is kind of like a soft, girly pop, lowly otter. Uh, and this is what we have so far. We tried to keep her fashionable. It got a, it got a little weird in some places, but I fixed it. And we, we veered back into a little more fashionable areas. do some line art. Let me just adjust it a bit. Let me uh, have the canvas drawing guide on for a sec while I stretch and move her around a bit. Also, I gotta flip her just to make sure.
Okay, there we go. That looks better. But yes, I'm glad y'all had fun. Uh, did you, uh, Walter, did you want to see the finished, uh, Rhino drawing? Yes. Okay, so this is our, our Rhino feller. His name is Sylvester. We have the, uh, the talking and the blinking. Beautiful. Right? Isn't that a nice suit? Let me rest my face there, right? Yeah, we we uh we got that a lot while we were streaming it. <laughs> while we were drawing, we got that a lot. Oh, um, it's just uh it's just cause uh I saved it on a different layer. Remember I can't open and close the mouth with the straw moving at the same time. But the straw is there. There's a there's a straw in his mouth. Uh it just it just wasn't there because I uh I had saved it a different way. This is going to be interesting trying to keep this symmetrical. She is a pretty symmetrical looking character. Oh yeah, Walter, are you excited about the forewarn stuff? I'm assuming you are. I want to do this a rounder eyebrow instead of like an arched one. Make it less severe. I might copy and paste this one again. You turn on send me. I can, but there are parts of it that I don't want to be symmetrical. For some reason, I like symmetry, but I don't like symmetry. It's hard to explain. There's a less sassy. Yeah, exact. That's exactly what I was thinking. Definitely a more cheerful eyebrow. those eyelashes with a different color too. I am going to copy and paste these eyelashes. There we go.
I get caught up in the drawing. I apologize for uh, being a little more silent. Y'all know how I get into my little uh, zone out se seconds. Uh, but yeah, if y'all if y'all have any questions, please ask them. I'll eventually look back up. This is why I use a PNG, PNG tuber when I draw, y'all, because I... Not only am I not speaking, but like, I'll be looking down. It just, it just doesn't look right. Uh, I'm watching from the walls, eating your crumbs. Good. I left them there for you. seen the top of your head though no a lot of artists that i know are png tubers or vtubers true yeah i feel like it's just easier this way and at first i felt like i was like co-opting something that i technically wasn't but i feel like i i you know i kind of do it in my own way And I mean, not for nothing, my PNG tuber looks exactly like me. Like, literally it's me, so I feel like I'm not fooling anybody. <laughs> Not that being a PNG tuber is about fooling people, just, you know. to uh, improve upon the sketch during my final line arts. <gasps> Zombie lady, thank you so much for hanging out and get some good rest. We'll see you soon. Hopefully in another stream, I mean. Or I don't know, maybe I'll show up outside your house in your bushes. I'm gonna be hiding in your bushes, zombie lady. for you. Yeah. Enjoy it. Put that bag back on. <laughs> Is that better, poofs?
Here you are. For your pride. A lovely version of this song. I miss uh, gold and silver. One of my favorites. That's where my love of Totodial came from. One of my top six. Totodile would definitely be my, like, starter starter. Have we named her yet? Not yet! so cute. The funny thing is, um, three out of six of my top six Pokemon, my final six, are starter Pokemon from other regions, like Litten and Grookey. So I would have to travel far and wide to uh, finish my team. That's for sure. And no, I have not tried out Fusion yet. crazy i've seen some uh some funny like videos and tiktoks think talks um of a guy that reviews different um fusions like he was review reviewing all the fusions for like uh mr mime and jinx and everything and it made me laugh welcome back to orn We're talking about our favorite Pokemans. And how yours is uh, Bulbasaur. Shay Rebomb. Would it be pronounced Shay? And can it be Shay Re Rebomb? But like spelled like this, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust it. Ah, oh, damn it. Not me misspelling it.
There we go. Like this. Che re re bomb. So Woobat, the Iconotry. Her ring name is Shay Bomb. Yes, exactly. Just to keep people away. Also, Torn, aren't you a fan of Deerling? Isn't that on your main team? So her stalkers can't find her address. She's got to come with, come up with a new name. Not that it's that creative compared to her uh, stage name. You truly do. I feel like she'd be one of those misunderstood um, people where people would think that she's uh, a bitch or something and like she's genuinely trying to be nice. Also got here, yes, technically Saul's buck, but yes, the whole line. Yeah, I just like the idea of you having a Pokemon that changes with the season. I feel like that would be something you would, like, love. Think she's really mean. She actually gets a lot of criticism online for it, but she's so generous. Yeah, exactly. There's just been a bunch of misunderstand misunderstandings and like bad situations that have happened, which always sucks for her because she's so sensitive. She feels bad. Yeah, uh, Torchic used to be one of my favorites, too, but then Litten came along and really fucked me up. I love Litten. Took over my fire Pokemon love. But yeah, Torchic is a fucking adorable little chicken nugget. This is going to be a bitch and a half to color. Her 
this tonight, so I'm the best. Better than all the rest. I will love be the very best. Like no one ever was. Catch them is my real test. Betray them is my cause. I will travel across the world. Searching far and wide. Each one came on to understand. The courage that's inside. I could always do the coloring next week like you did with the sugar glider. Uh, it's only been four and a half hours. It's not that bad. I think uh, when we were doing the sugar glider, we were we were pushing five or six. What are you doing? What are you clipping? And why? K-pop idol because of her name or a J-pop idol because of her fashion? These are important questions. Um, hmm. I want to say idol because of fashion. I don't know if she's a singer. I feel like she'd be closer to a model than a singer. Maybe a dancer, but I don't think she could sing. I want to say that. She might come out with a with a um a makeup line. I feel like that she'd be like influencer level. Yes, exactly. She's very charismatic. Show slaps though, they're so weird. Yeah. I feel like the thing is, she would look so cute and pretty, and then when she gets on these shows, she just absolutely owns people up in the most unexpected ways. I feel like that would be her. but in a cute way. Wins cutely. ruffle brush the ruffle brush is definitely not a like you put it down and you're good to go brush it is definitely more of a you put it down and use it as a guiding uh line thing because there's no way i would have put down those sloppy ruffles and kept them as is bitch would have no class
but they're definitely cute and handy to have. I need to find more interesting brushes, too. So many of them have come in handy. Her peppermint purse looks cute. I feel like I need to put a zipper on it right here. like a little button on the front. Hey, we're almost done, y'all. Fading fast. Sleep well, Zax. I know you had a long stream. Thank you for raiding in. Look at that beautiful shout out for our friend. draw her fingers just a little bit longer. Like we're just missing the hand. And then we're done. With the line art, that is.
What do we think of her? Is she absolutely precious? I feel like we kept her pretty fashionable. And modest. We don't have we don't have anything too crazy going on. I feel like we need to just do like a teeny tiny little tiny bit of cleavage here. Just the teeniest bit. Like that. Just enough to keep it cute. There we go. The door one, I want to be a friend. From what we have established, she's very generous. Does she have a clam anywhere? Like maybe a little pocket mirror? Oh, that should have been the, um, that should have been the, the purse. Oysters are ugly. Gross. I was gonna say, maybe I can make it one of her necklaces, but they are not cute. All right, so let's color her. I've got, I've got the energy to do it tonight. So otters are kind of like a brownish color, like a grayish brown. They got kind of like a dark snoot in the reddish area. There we go. Adorable. And I feel like we need to do like a nude lip because their uh, their little mouths have like a whitish area. with like the the muzzle technically I would also need to do a little bit of makeup to lighten this up I would have to go a little more tan with clipping mask so she would have to be lightened up on this side and on this side Gotta take a little less tan off of it though. There we go, that's the color. Let's cut it though. There we go. All right, it looks like 
their eyes are almost all black. Let me see if they have any like different colors. Yeah, otter eyes are almost all black. Maybe like a dark brown. There we go. And they got the tiniest little ring of like white sclera. Do some white freckles. Whoops, not there. Wrong layer. them a little bit there we go oh that's looking so cute Right, her ears. I almost forgot to color those. So what color hair are we giving her? Ears is gonna cry. Yeah. Her little ears, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> they were smaller than that, but I, I, I wanted to make them fully visible. But otherwise, it just wouldn't be cute. I have to know I have to make sure people know that she's an otter. I mean, we are avoiding pinks 
but I feel like a pink color might go cute with the hair. Or would that be too cliche? I'm going to avoid pink for this as much as I possibly can, y'all. So beautiful. I might change this lens color, though. Ooh, a green would be so cute. Yes. Like, a, just like a pop of color. Do a more baby blue color for most of her outfit. Oops. There we Cute little blue nails. There we go. And I think uh, we decided on yellows. So like a nice soft yellow would be cute. As the secondary color. So Kana, I adore. Yeah, she's looking real cute, y'all. I think I might want to make it a lighter yellow, actually. Like, just like a barely there yellow. That. I like that a little better. Maybe I'll have white accents, but like in a blue tone. Maybe I'll make them metallic white. That would be pretty. Maybe they can match her purse. Maybe it would be like a like a white latex leather kind of look. Or like latex um, material for some of it. You lower the lower the whiteness of the screen. Okay, so I really have to think about her hair color because I feel like it's it's not feeling right without the hair color. <laughs> what hair colors have I done so far? Try a bunch of different hair colors and we'll see what happens, y'all.
all the spots I'm missing here. I don't think red is going to work for her, but I'm just going to keep doing the, the color. That way we can uh, change it all at once. It's a little too harsh. Maybe not a vibrant red. Yeah. like a dark rose burgundy kind of color. Kind of almost purple. It's really nice actually. And once we add all the shine to it, it'll look a lot more sparkly. Plus, we are going to make it a gradient color, so maybe we can make the ends of it like a peach color. I missed a bunch of spots with that uh that yellow, so I gotta go back and color some in. Maybe like a gold would look good. I don't know if a gold would look good with this. Maybe light green. Let's keep up with the pastels. She could put like a really nice, uh, like a mintish green kind of color. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. C 
seafoam. Yeah, exactly. Somehow colored her like Ariel. Did I? I guess it's just instinct at, at this point. She's got like ocean colors. There we go. I added a white gradient to the yellow because it was just too much yellow for me. I feel like she's not one to wear just like a plain color either. Have you done wrist stretching? I have not. My arm doesn't usually get tired. Just, uh, just because I do minimal movements with my wrist. My wrist actually does not move very much while I'm drawing. Uh, it's the tips of my fingers that uh, get a little sore from gripping the pencil. But I usually use my shoulder to actually draw. your fingies got it yep that's how that works
I get thirsty. Thank you for the hydrate, poofs. Pee on me. Also, poofs, um, I'm gonna be trying on my, um, my orc fit tomorrow. Would you want to get on a video call with me to see it? And Wather, if you can hear me, you're invited too, by the way. I just didn't know if you had gone to sleep and I didn't want to address you and wake you up. About to say the betrayal. No, no, I just didn't know if you were asleep or not. But I think Zax was, only, was the only one to say that he was going to sleep. But yeah, I'll let y'all know. The betrayal. Earl! How you doing, Earl? Little tiny piece I missed here. I think I got everything colored. And I kept to my wish of not putting any pink on here. I used all the pastel colors except for pink. Pink is in her heart, yeah. All right, shall we shade? You did it, Joe, you did it. Oops, forgot a layer. There we go. Rowdy, thank you. Listening to Slut Pop right now, as she should. that I shade all of my characters because it works well with almost any skin tone. It like adjusts, which I really appreciate.
hell is this song? I don't like it. Oh shit, I didn't color in her eyes. Fuck. Make it this very gary, right? Like, who knew an otter would look so cute? And like their makeup would work just right for that. I would like to see it. There we go. Now her now her eyeball is colored. Finish your group art of the friends as monsters. Oh yeah, I um, I was thinking the other day that I think uh, last year I kind of like was feeling my uh, my limitations with that drawing. I felt like I wasn't able to bring it justice. So now that uh, I have matured a bit more in my drawing style, I feel like now I can actually tackle it and finish it. Because like a year ago, my backgrounds were not looking good. But after working on uh, so many commissions over this past year, I feel like I've gotten better. But now I think I could tackle it. So many unholy commissions, so many. But like, you've seen it, Poofs. You've seen my backgrounds evolving. And it was, it's, it's been like less than a year since it started happening. so much into a stunning flower with chest hair exactly all of that scenarios the other night and uh, but I will say I had a dream about it and I was unhappy about it uh-huh go on we're listening <clears throat>
because you were drawing one of your snakes once the other day. I'm not gonna lie, Sydney, it just kind of grosses me out. It makes me want to vomit. Hilarious. I'm not gonna complain. Those snakes are paying my bills. I'm gonna look at snakes and cry. Literally. That was great. I mean, they all are, but I really liked it. Hilarious. Money, I'm gonna say gross. <laughs> uh, if it makes you feel better, my love, I don't find it particularly stimulating either so you know maybe that'll make you feel better sure did learn how to draw the hell out of it. That's for sure. Don't yuck others yums if there's funds, yeah. Well, to an extent. There are some things I do not draw. <clears throat> but yeah, we're not going to get into it. What are you thinking so far, Poofs? So I'm not thinking about your sin art, what happened? I was saying, uh, what do you think of her so far? Very girly pop and I adore her. Yay! I did it! You know what I did? I set out what I came to do. I, I completed uh, what I set out to do, is what I'm trying to say. Super fun, all the different hues and tones, very cohesive. Yay! Oh, that makes me feel nice. or fiber or whatever. I think so too. 
That's what I'm liking about all my designs. There's such a like variety. I feel like she needs an eyeshadow. I'm gonna do a blue eyeshadow. Ooh, she's gonna be hard to uh, make blink. of the glasses. Fudge. I'll figure it out. Or smooth. Um, I might actually add some now that you mention it. They are pretty smooth, I will say that. So I probably won't add too much. Thank you so much. We've been going for five and a half hours. But I guess for two drawings, that's pretty fast to some people, I guess. Uh, I guess I would agree to that, yes. Yeah, I drew like little, little cross hatches a little bit all over the body. So you can kind of see a little bit of texture, but... We're not going to go crazy with it. I tried for 10 minutes, given up, went on BRB, cried for 40 minutes, then played a video game. Hilarious. She looks good. Okay, so let me draw a open mouth version. Let's see how this works out, y'all. Okay, so open mouth. Uh, let's see. How would I draw her with open mouth. Let's see.
A little pointy teeth too. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm looking at a picture right now. expect her teeth to be nothing but the brightest shades of white, so... or something. Yes, I agree. What do you think? So happy. She likes talking. fan meeting and shake her hand she would be very energetic i think and she would love to give you tips on fashion In fact, good thing you bought the fan experience where you can actually go shopping with her in the mall after she's done with her meet and greets. It's like a 14 year old boy and have a box closed in like three years, so I need it. Yeah. She gonna help you. Okay, yeah, that looks like her mouth, right? She's speaking. She's talking to y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Cute. Okay, now the arduous task of making her blink. That's gonna be a tough one. 
All right, let's see how I can do this. It's actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be. looking at myself and I'm not I'll pass hmm you'd always bring me along for shopping I'll look at you Perceive me. I could just copy and paste this and reverse. So that would save me so much time. Mostly. I do a little bit of touch ups here. Nice and tidy. Anything you do is witchcraft to me. <laughs> Why is that? to get you learning soon get you up in up in here learning learning You. We'll get you a tablet set up soon. One of these days, we're gonna get you with a tablet. We're gonna get you drawing.
Oh, my buttons. Okay, so another thing hurts when I sit for long periods of time drawing. Uh, my buns sure do, uh, sure do start aching something fierce. But I'm almost done, so we don't have to worry about that for too much longer. The cheeks. I am not, uh, at all thick. Um, it is the feeling of my bones, uh, grinding into the cushion. Uh, and that is, uh, that is what causes my discomfort. <laughs> buns, buns, buns. Imagine if he was cheeked up, though. I'm gonna have to get myself a BBL, y'all. Get one of them risky BBL surgeries. Oh my god, what do y'all think of her blinking? Wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Her blinking is perfect. she is can't you just hear her joyous bubbly laughter <laughs> i can't do joyous bubbly laughter okay so let me go ahead and just cover this up amazing have a kill for her good good she wants you to kill for her that's what all idols in the in the in the end all idols want you to kill for them or idols an idol otter otter idol i just realized how similar those two sound Got it uploaded to my Google Drives. We have two very cute PNG tubers today, y'all. We did a good job. The rhino and the otter. Not what I thought I'd be drawing tonight, but I love them. All right, let me go ahead and pop on out of here into a BRB. There we go.
Yeah, honestly, everyone helped me so much. Y'all give me like instant gratification when it comes to like, am I doing this right? Or does this look good? Y'all can immediately tell me. Testing, testing, testing my PNG tuber model now. There we go. All right. Here we go. What do y'all think? Can you see me and this guy together? Aren't we a cute couple? Shelter my politics, filth is my life! Oh, taciturn, thank you for the resub. Oh, they look so cute together. I'm trying to make him a little taller because I feel like he's taller than her by a lot. There we go. Look at the new couple. Sherry and Sylvester. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Yes, thank you, Taciturn. 11 months. That's a power couple, right? Oh, they're so cute together. Look at them. See her bodyguard? Yes! See? Look at that. Dicey lately looking up. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. But I hope they I'm glad things are looking up. Yeah, his suit looks really good. Very classy. And yes, he's he's her bodyguard slash manager. There we go. You wouldn't want to mess with him when it comes to uh, the manager, right? She's like, oh, I don't handle business affairs. Please feel free to talk to my manager behind me. His name is Sylvester and he'll break your legs. Tee hee. Like, if they try anything funny, or is that just how he does business? I don't know. It depends. How low is that paycheck? And <laughs> did you pay me in time? Titties have to be implants. They're not. They're not. I'm feeling on them right now. They're firm as hell. But not in a fake plasticky firm. They are really nice, though. Look at those things. Look at those melons. That scene from Captain America where she just wants to touch his chest and do that, right? Also, I'm glad that I uh, did the planes symbol from Magic the Gathering because that just suits him so well. Sylvester has the Chris Redfield chest. Yes. I'm into it. I think this is the first like real chest hair character I made. From the PNG tubers, at least. Aw, oh, Shay turned out so good. Look at her. Like the detail of the chains. Yeah, the chains look good. I may, hold on. I do want to change something about the chains, though. He put his little um his little uh wheat leaf back i like that better i may um re-upload these where the chain is above the uh the titty line That way, it looks like there's some depth. Yeah, I'm gonna have to upload them again. 
It's like they look better now that they're over the titty line. I just love seeing them together. Look, look how cute. Who would you pair her with? Let's see. Here's a uh, here's another manager. What do you think? Soft, supple titty line. Do you think she would protect me? How dare you adjust your art to improve upon it? Eh. <laughs> I feel like she would be a good manager, too. Maybe, uh, once she got in a relationship with Sylvester, she had to, uh, she had to technically fire him and get a new manager. Because, you know, it just gets messy when you're in a relationship with your manager, right? So this is, this is my new manager. Uh, Sylvester and I are now in a relationship. Uh, so we had to, uh, cut professional ties. Time you're gonna be doing soup things, you think, so I could be paying attention. Um, I'm actually not sure. Yeah, this, uh, this lady is much stricter. This is my dance coordinator. She, uh, she does all of my, um, what do you call that? What do you call that dance coordinating? I can't remember what it's called. Choreography. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> this is my bodyguard. There we go. This is my bodyguard. See, we've got her whole world planned out. Uh, what would she be? Is she the, uh, the aging celeb that I'm taking over her spot on the charts? Or would she be my, uh, my, uh, mom? Is this my mom? Is your mentor? Oh, yes, mentor. He's like, listen, honey, I've seen a lot of things in this business and you really gotta take it from me. Don't let no man put you down. She's been around the block. <laughs> Sexy block. Oh, I just love how Shay turned out. Oh, she's so cute. Let's see. I don't know if the other ones actually fit into her universe. Like, the fuck? A little to all of her. What, what even, what even would this one be? <laughs> This is, uh, one of the props, biggest fans. What do you mean? <laughs> I was gonna say he's a prop from one of our music videos. What about this one? Here we go, hold on. She would have to, she would have to, um... Yeah, there we go. Eat a little. Both. He won a contest, have a cameo in her video. There we go. I feel like he would be smaller, but I can't position him just right. Her first sleazy boyfriend. This one. All he cared about was the sugar. He just wanted my sugar. Everything inside the Goo's memorabilia from an ad she's been in. Hilarious. Well, she, she upgraded, that's for sure. She definitely got a much more handsome boyfriend. 
booger sugar. Gross. Yeah, I think she definitely upgraded. But I got her, uh, her very first manager already set up. This was, this was when she literally just started. This is her first manager. He did not manage her well. She had to find somebody else quickly. It's so silly. I love, I love coming up with little stories for all of them. Maybe one of these days we'll write a story with all of these characters in it. Oh my god, we've, we've, uh, he discovered her and did his best. Yeah, he just couldn't handle it. He just, he could only handle so much fame. She kind of blew up overnight. Which is when, when Sylvester took over. That's when Sylvester took over. Um, and Sylvester and, uh, Shay fell in love, so he had to recuse himself. And that's when Lady Olga stepped in. And Lady Olga is now her new manager. And her greatest enemy. <laughs> because Lady Olga rules with an iron fist. Literally. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I do like using her, though. Like, Shay is so fun to use. I feel like Shay would be really popular. Like, for the downloads. <laughs> Alright, I should I should end it. We're, we're almost going on six hours. Let me, um... Let me see if anybody else is on right now. Hmm. Oh. How long have you been on? <laughs> 